Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel once again. So today in this video I am going to show you how to install uh, Xenon LAMP kit on uh, Skoda Rapid and Volkswagen Polo. So most of them uh, already know about that uh, Skoda Rapid headlight visibility issue. So for that I just approached a nearby local uh, accessory shop. So they showed me this uh, brand name called GPNE uh, which is HID kit which is 55 watts and 6000 K. So um, we are going to install this in uh, uh, Skoda Rapid and Volkswagen Polo today. Uh, this video is mainly sponsored by Hyderabad Automotive. So you can check on their profile in Instagram. So they have some cool uh, car accessories and even they are doing all remaps and uh, they are selling projector lamps and uh, uh, Volotronic systems. So go and check on um, Instagram profile. So if you guys watched my earlier videos, you might have noticed uh, now my Rapid has a projector headlamp. Previously it was a uh, halogen type. So I bought a used one and I'm going to install HID for that one. So there are a few minor uh, wiring changes required. So for that what I did, um, I'm not going to cut the uh, company wiring. So what I'm going to do is like uh, I just bought a male and female coupler and I did a, a custom wiring. So that particular coupler I'm going to connect it into a uh, stock wiring and I'm going to tap from that particular uh, coupler. So this is the one. So the uh, green color uh, wire having the female and male uh, coupler on that. So we are going to just connect it into the company wiring. So from that company wiring we are going to tap all the wiring changes whatever we are required for. So converting into a projector lamp it's not an easy thing. Uh, it has some issues. So for that only we are doing this particular custom wiring. Uh, the main reason why, uh, because when you are switching on your uh, high beam, low beam automatically switched off. So for that, we did this custom wiring. Because in higher variant, uh, these projector lamps are controlled by BCM, which has a higher version, which we don't have in our car. So that's why we are doing this custom wiring. Basically, we set a relay and uh, we took an input from that coupler and we are passing it to low beam. As I don't have the proper uh, tools to check all the lines, uh, I just completed the basic wiring in the accessory shop itself. So once I reach home, so I will remove everything once again and I'll do a clean wiring with the automotive tape. All the wiring lines are cleanly closed with the uh, automotive tape. So you can see how the wiring looks like now. So there is a, a relay unit installed for low beam, which is taking input from this coupler. So this is the one. And uh, this is the HID kit which is used for the Xenon lamp. Installed this uh, HID kit on the both side. And the input for the uh, right side lamp it is going from the left side. Uh, basically it is from the relay and it is connecting to the male coupler. And all this relay HID kit everything are kept aside from the engine bay and fuel area so you can see it is just uh, behind the wheel liner even you can see it here in the polo it is just uh, beside the headlights and here too now let's install the headlamp and uh, i'm going to show you how the output is so now the headlights everything is installed and uh, you can see in high beam we have the LED and low beam we have the HID and you can see all the wiring lines are kept uh, very clean so in this way of wiring and uh, using this coupler uh, we no need to cut anything from the company wiring so that is the main reason why I went with this actually I waited a lot and I planned for this Let's start the car and uh, we'll check the output. So now you can see the low beam is started uh, uh, glowing. So it will take some time to load. That's why we are not installing the high beam. Because when you're passing on the highway, you cannot uh, uh, flash. Because uh, HID will load for one time and for next loading, it will take some time. So you should not use a HID on the high beam. So after this installation in the night, I did... Uh, a small drive and um, I am a bit amazed with uh, 
uh, light output so which i attached in the end of this video you can check on that so now bumper everything is installed so this is how it looks like in the fog lamp i have the 3k because i'm using a 6k in the high beam and low beam so in uh, rainy season or foggy time uh, i cannot drive my car since it is in white color the visibility will be very less so if you're using 3k in the fog lamps so that you can manage at least now the polo uh, low beam is switched on you can see the light output also check on that video which i attached in the last of this video uh, i took a, a short drive in the night time so this is from uh, skoda rapid so both high beam and uh, low beam is switched on after installing this hid kit i can feel a, a huge difference between the normal halogen and this hid so when you are on the highway and you are managing around 120 to 140 km per hour so the headlight is the main thing which will uh, give you a confidence to uh, drive like that so uh, you should have the uh, illumination like this so you can see the light throw it is uh, throwing uh, um, at least uh, 300 meter i, I guess So both Polo and Rapid now, the headlight output is really good. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel and support me. So there are so many videos are lined up. So please also click the bell icon to get the notification instantly. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.